All right, here we go. Let's take a look at the syllabus. Uh, it's the only time you have to work through this module. I'll make it as quick as I can. There's a link there below. I suggest you download it and then follow along. It'll be easier for you to read off your computer than, than this video. Um, the, the course is described here. You're going to watch about 15 full-length features excluding uh, this uh, first couple of days. So module one is a short film on, uh, on YouTube, and I do that so everybody can catch up and get the rest of the, the films in their hands. Uh, but after that short, then we do uh, full-length features, and uh, we cover the gamut from the, the mid-40s uh, up into this century and into, I think, 20... I don't know, 2016 or so is about the most recent that we end up on. Uh, the goal of the class is, is kind of to move you from just being a normal audience member, kind of viewing films uh, passively, and to show you kind of behind the screen here what's going on. What kind of things are going into the thought and the decision process that impacts how films are made and will shape how you watch and appreciate the medium. Um, it is one of those classes where I kind of throw a disclaimer out there is um, you, you probably won't end up watching film the same way after this class. And that can be a good thing for most people. Some people not. Uh, they don't really want to know what, how, you know, how the ride at Disneyland works. They just want to go have a great time. Uh, but if you're into kind of decoding what's going on and why you enjoy film, uh, then I'm going to teach you some of the grammar of film, how that works. Uh, it's important to cover what the course isn't, and it's not let's go to the movies on Friday night. It just isn't. This is the history of film. It's an academic class. And most of the films that we're going to watch in here um, are probably not the kind of films that you'll have folks over on a Friday night and have them watch. Doesn't mean you you aren't going to appreciate them, but I'm going to teach you to look for certain things in these films um, that that contribute to the overall course, uh, and they all kind of fit together in total. Uh, but for somebody outside of the class that doesn't understand what's going on, they may not be quite as enjoyable. So that in mind. Um, whether you like a film or not is, is not really part of the class. Um, you can, you can, you cannot like a cinematographer's approach or their use of color, and you can state it that way, but you just can't say, I don't like that film. Uh, so we're going to get into that as the, as the modules begin to develop. Here's an important part that I want you to, to write down. I mentioned it before in the intro. You're going to hear a lot about this. There are no makeup exams. Once you miss the deadline for a module, it's closed. All right. So you cannot go back and retake it once you miss it. All right. And, and things happen. I understand that. I get that. Okay. But. Um, what I will say to you is you missed the Tuesday at 5 p.m. deadline because you lost your internet connection at 445. And my question to you is why didn't you take it Monday? Okay. You have multiple days to work through this module and get through the module. Don't wait. Don't wait. Don't wait till the last minute. All right. Uh, you have deadlines in here for the summer session on Tuesday at 5, Friday at 5. Um, that's, uh, it's sequential. So when module one is opened, no other modules will be opened. I've had people ask me, look, I have two weeks off. Can I get ahead and do three modules now? No. Modules are only open between a Tuesday and a Friday, and then they flip. All right, and then we move on. We build on this stuff sequentially. It's the way it's laid out. That's the way it works. Uh, if you do have a problem, you need to get a hold of me. Do it before the deadline. Uh, here's a disclaimer just for, and I've had people use this, and it's perfectly fine. Some of the films that we watch ha have adult themes. Uh, there's a difficult language. Uh, there's violence. Uh, there's just no way to avoid those things when we're looking at cinema. 
Uh, so if there's a, an issue that you have with any of the films and, and they're posted here in the, in, in the syllabi, uh, just reach out to me. We'll find an alternative for you. All right. Uh, I'm going to show you how module works in a second. There's deadlines, deadlines, deadlines. You got to meet them. Don't ask if you miss them. How to succeed. Look, the course runs for eight weeks. You're doing two weeks of normal work in a semester in, uh, in an eight week time frame. All right. The great thing is you're going to get through a whole course in eight weeks. The challenge is you have to do all the work that you would normally do in 16 weeks in eight. All right. So that's the deal. I'm along with you for the ride. Um, let me know if you're if you're struggling. What I have found is that the time commitment on your end, if you just start to think about when I'm going to when I'm going to work through this class and and not five minutes before the deadline, <laughs> please don't do that. Um, if you carve out two days a week so that you can open up the module, go through the, uh, the work that I have for you there, watch the film, post in the discussion board, take your quiz, come back and post to your colleagues in the discussion board, and you just build a time into your schedule to do this twice a week, you're going to be fine, okay? The people that don't miss uh, the deadlines do really, really well in here, all right? Uh, cheating, oddly enough, uh, I've, I have to put this in there because I've had people cheat in here. Uh, it's not a good idea to uh, use somebody's work who may have taken the, the class before, and you're going to cut and paste their answers into the discussion board. Uh, I've run this uh, long enough now uh, that you, you need to know, while I don't post with you in the discussion board, that's your area to have these conversations with your colleagues, and I think that's really important. I do read every single word that's posted, and when I grade, there's a place for me to write comments. I'll put comments to you. So if I start seeing work that sounds and looks a lot like something that's happened before or somebody else has posted it, we'll have a conversation and it won't be pleasant. Special needs. Uh, I have had a, a whole bunch of people with uh, certain special needs that have been really successful in here. So uh, if that's the case with you, I welcome you. Um, I do ask you, uh, give me a heads up, let me know as soon as you can, and uh, we'll figure out what kind of things you need uh, to be successful here. I mentioned this in the intro, the best place to get the films, and I don't own stock or I'm not paid by Netflix. It's just the easiest way to get the films, and I always make sure they're available in the DVD section of Netflix, all right? So you need to, if you don't have another resource, some people own these films. Uh, you can find some of them uh, on Hulu, some on YouTube, but not a lot. Um, they're getting pretty tough with copyright stuff now. Uh, the best way is to get hooked up into Netflix with their DVD service. You can go into DVD tonight, uh, into Netflix, into the DVD queue that they'll give you, and you can load up all the films for the whole eight weeks in the right order. And once they're there and they start shipping to you two at a time, as soon as you send one back, they send you out the next one, and they're really quick about it. So if you take the time to do that uh, and get it all set up, you'll have access to all the films. I have a whole section on how you earn points in here. I suggest that you go through that. Uh, do know that uh, it's a point-based system. Uh, from 900 to 1,000 points is an A, yet you're going to be able to earn 1,100 points in here because the first two modules are bonus points. But you have to complete them to get those bonus points. All right? And I explain that further on. So uh, what's our films look like? These are it right here. These are the 16 that I've selected. Um, and I've selected them for a variety of reasons. Uh, but we try and give you um, a, a breadth of uh, film development from the mid-40s uh, up until close to today. So uh, there's your films. Uh, there's your module due dates. Everything's right here. Build it into your calendar. Get your DVDs coming to you from Netflix, and you're going to be just fine. So here I mentioned before, 
1,100 points total. Here's where the points all add up. Module 1 and Module 2 this week are bonus points, regardless of what you score in uh, Canvas right now. I go back in when we're done with uh, Module 2, and I will add 50 as long as you did the work. All right? Uh, the other thing to note here is that Week 8 is our midterm and week 16 sorry module 16 module 8 are um are both worth four times the normal amount of points so you need to circle those on the calendar here back up here uh july 10th august 7th uh you need to not miss it's hard to it's hard to pass this course if you miss the midterm and the final just because those two modules are worth 400 points, all right? And we'll go into how that works uh, as you get into it. Just know that you should be setting up your calendar to hit these dates. And it's really more important in the summer session than it is in the regular semester uh, because things move so quickly. All right, so that's the points. Uh, I, have a, I have a quick video on how a module works. This is what you're gonna see. You're gonna see an introduction page, a housekeeping page. Um, sometimes in the lecture, I don't, if nothing has changed that I want to tell you about the lecture of the film, and most of them don't, then I don't refresh those every semester. But in housekeeping, I always put either a video or bullets there on information that I want to share with you as a class. So if everybody struggled with uh, a question on the quiz or they're not doing the discussion board right, this is where I'll share it with you in the housekeeping. They tend to be really short videos, but they're extremely important. You always want to hit the housekeeping video uh, each module. Got your lecture. Uh, there's readings and or videos, uh, then you watch your film, then you do discussion board, you want to post. Now when you go into the discussion board and you go into post, uh, the way I have that set up, you won't see anybody else's posts. And that's designed so that you have to come up with your original thoughts, you're going to write it up, you're going to post it. Once you do post it, if anybody has posted before you, then you will see everybody else's post. At that time or after the quiz, then I want you to respond to two of your colleagues. And the, the deal there is that things that others are saying can contradict what you've said or support what you said. And that's uh, as much uh, as important a, a part of the learning in the course as anything that I have to say. So that is discussion board. Here's the other thing that you need to know on discussion board. That's worth 10 points. And I grade those as soon as we're done with a, a module. I, I grade your uh, posts. And you need to score five points or better, five of the 10, to keep the points that you take in the quiz. This is really important, and I didn't do this at first, but what I got was people not doing anything, uh, and they would uh, sign on five minutes before the module was due, and then just randomly take the quiz. And they, <laughs> while they didn't do great, uh, I need to stop that. I need to see by your responses that you are watching the film. Uh, and uh, if so, that's all I'm looking for there, then uh, you can keep your quiz points. But that will come up with some people during the semester, and I'll redirect them back to this uh, page. So uh, then you can take your quiz. Quizzes are pretty straightforward. Don't take much time. I think they're about 10 minutes apiece, except for the midterm and the final. Uh, should be pretty straightforward. And then there's a simple summary page that kind of goes over what we've done. All right, that's a syllabus. Uh, that's good for now. Let's move you on to uh, the next page. Cheers.